Hey guys, Ralph here, True Power Health and Fitness. Um, yeah, you saw the thumbnail. What would the world be like if Trump and ISIS were to meditate every day? Ooh, <laughs> think about it. And I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just taking those. Uh, and I am no way, shape, or form uh, comparing Trump to ISIS. I'm not doing that at all. Um, I will add, what if Hillary Clinton were to, were to meditate every day? What if everybody in Congress were to meditate an hour in the morning and an hour before they went to bed? Every one of them. What if they were to do that? What sort of a world would this be? What if Vladimir Putin <laughs> were, to, were to meditate? You see where I'm going with this? I tell you what, guys, meditation could save the world. It would save the world. Meditation is a way of contacting God. That is ultimately what it is supposed to be used for. It's used by the ancient yogis, the Hindus, the Buddhists, whatever. Okay, way back in India, Parahamansa Yogananda, Lahari Mishaya, Lahari Mishaya, Sri Bhuktishwar, uh, Krishna. I mean, we, we can go on and on. The people that really take Meditation to the nth degree are the most docile, loving, smart people you could ever, ever come in contact with. It's a way of contacting God. And if you try to keep, and this is what I do with my meditation for weight loss clients, if you try to keep that meditation feeling with you throughout the day, and especially for the weight loss, Especially when you're eating, there are no cravings. Everything is clear. The anger is gone. And you love everybody. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Think about if Trump and ISIS loved everybody. <laughs> now, um, I worked for Donald Trump about four years. I am a professional trumpet player by per trade. I came to this health and fitness through my master's and doctoral work in kinesiology and nutrition and all that. Um, and I still play professionally, I teach quite a bit. But I worked for him as a musician. I worked at his uh, Trump Tower, his hotels and whatnot, and booked a lot of his work for him. I, I worked for him quite a long, long time. And what you see is what you get. It's exactly, exactly the way he comes across, that is the way he is. There is no, he may be different with his family behind closed doors. But if you are working for him, you are introduced to everybody as a genius. This is Ralph. He does all my work. He does a wonderful job. Wonderful job. You should hear him play. That is the way. If you're working for him, you are the best in the world. And if you do something that he doesn't want done, boom, you're out. Just like the show. Ralph, you're fired. Sometimes he has somebody else do it. Can't be bothered. That's the way he is. Now, again, a kinder, gentler Trump. Again, I am not, I, this is not a political thing. It is not. It is the value of meditation. And I really and truly believe that Donald Trump is not an exemplary moral person. I, I, I truly believe that. But I think he has is an excellent businessman, and I think he has some unbelievable ideas at running a business. And if he just tempered down everything a little bit, I think it's unbelievable what his charisma and everything could do for the country. I really do. And I think meditation would do that. Can you imagine? If he finished, if he finished his his speech to Congress, love you all, Namaste. <laughs> Come on. And ISIS says, nobody today. Hey, peace. I mean, I'm joking about it, but it's absolutely true. Our boy Gandhi, I mean, changed the world. How many years ago? I mean, brought the British Empire to its knees, basically just by meditating. 
Now, I realize the situation that we have here now, if we just all started to, to <laughs> meditate, I mean, within six months, we'd all be speaking Muslim. I, I mean, you know, I get nothing against Muslim, but we'd be taken over. I mean, so I realize that it takes force, and it, it might get worse before it gets better. But ultimately, what a wonderful, wonderful world it would be if we were all to meditate. And I'm urging you to all do your part and meditate. Join a group. Start a group. It doesn't have to be, again, I'm in the health and fitness business, so my meditation is for weight loss. Okay? It doesn't have to be. I have tons of athletes that I work for, professional, right down to little kids. I have medif meditate before we start our workout. Not long. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, calm your mind, focus, what are we trying to do today, okay, what do you want to get from this, I, I mean, there's no better, to quiet your mind, and it's unbelievable, when the mind is clear, focused, and carved up to the max, good carbohydrates, fruits, veggies, rice, potatoes, clear mind, not fogged over by meat and dairy products, it's unbelievable what you can do. I mean, 16, 18 hour days, pfft, no problem. Now, Trump, God bless him, even if you don't like him, look, you can't say that he doesn't work hard. <laughs> he really does give you 20, he's, he's given up our money's worth, if nothing else. He's working hard. Um, and I think, I hope for, again, I don't want to get political here, but I hope for the uh, sake of the country that what he has planned turns out good for us. I think the democratic system is doing its due diligence now and thwarting some of the things that we, we shouldn't uh, go along with. But everything he says is not bad, and I, I think anybody would agree that. Anyway, again, I don't want to get political. This is about meditation. But just think, <laughs> Trump, ISIS, Congress, Hillary, Bill, <laughs> Bill Clinton. Do a little meditation, right? Change the world. Okay, guys. Help change the world a little bit. Help change your life with meditation. Love you all. Eat your fruits and veggies. Drink water. Go to sleep. Meditate. Ride your bike. We'll see you again. Love you all.